Saturday morning here at Fitness Culture. Well, it's a Saturday afternoon. I just had lunch. What we're gonna do today? We have the last workout of the week, and the entire first week of the Swole program, the testing phase, will be in the book. Uh, I'm gonna weigh in, even though I've eaten twice today. I'm gonna weigh in right now and see what a full week of eating and working out has done for me. Like I said, I've been stressed out with the gym opening. You know, up until that point, I feel like I was really not eating well at all. I wasn't eating enough and I was eating crap uh, because it's just, I'm a stress eater. Um, so we're gonna do that. I'm not gonna max back squat. The program today calls for max back squat and max strict overhead press. I'm just gonna do max strict overhead press because I wanna give my knee a little bit more time. I'm gonna go get an MRI on it sometime next week. So I don't wanna be loading up 400 plus on a back squat and seeing what I can do. That being said, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Today, I am rocking the new Gymshark top. One of my all-time favorite Gymshark tops right here, sweatshirts. Hood on it, but mainly it's just the fit. It's a little bit longer. I got the short shorts on. These are Lululemon shorts. And then the Nike, the Nike trainers. Damn! 220.9. I literally weighed in at 214 earlier this week. Again, when I weighed in earlier this week, no meals in me. I got two meals in me, but I'm still probably 217, 218 in the morning. So up four pounds this week. I'm gonna attribute a lot of that to eating better, but also training, but I should probably watch that. I don't wanna gain weight too quick. So today's program, like I said, we got max back squat, which I'm not gonna do, and max strict overhead press. The biggest thing when overhead pressing is I'll, I see a lot of people, instead of pressing straight up, and moving your head out of the way. So a great overhead press should look like this from the side. As you press the weight up, head goes back, and then you punch through. And you should finish here. Core is nice and tight. I see a lot of people doing this. Boom. That's not where you need to be. It's not a push press. We can't, we're not cracking the knees at all. Strict press, core, finish it off right there. Press. Maybe with a little pump. Sitting, I could definitely do this. When you stand, all of a sudden it gets a lot more unstable. Officially the most I've ever overhead strict pressed. I'm actually pretty happy with that considering it's been a week of subpar maxes in my opinion. So that's about the only one I'm okay with. Now I'm gonna go back to uh, back squats. The program calls for back squats and although I didn't max out, I am gonna do box squats today. Um, it's just gonna be two sets of 15 higher volume and we're gonna be going box squats. I'm gonna wrap my knee up. All right, box squats. 18 inch box here, just enough to where I'll be really close to hitting parallel. As you can see, if I hit this right here, I'm just at about 90 degrees, maybe slightly above. Box squats though are a great tool we use when getting stronger. So we'll have full squat days, and we'll have days where we do box squats, and you're actually able to do a little bit more weight, even though today I'm sticking with 225. I'm really using this as more of a guideline. As soon as I touch it, I come up. And the reason I'm using it as a guideline is because when I drop below 90, my meniscus just, I, I lose all strength and get a shooting pain throughout my entire knee. 
So box squats is a good way for me to just kind of, you know, as soon as I hit that, I know mentally shut it down, come back up. Definitely, definitely we'll be using these though in the program. It's a great way to take a little bit of, uh, of the glutes out of it. This is gonna be all pretty much quad dominant. That last third part of a squat, you know, that bottom part of a squat when you go ass to grass, it's really where you recruit, recruit a lot more of your glute and even a little bit of your hamstring actually, a little bit more of your hamstring. So today, box squats, just mostly mostly quads, fastest medialis, all up in there. So we're gonna get two sets of 15 here with 225. like high volume squats and I would typically wouldn't wear knee wraps for 225 but again I just feel like it helps protect my meniscus a little bit keeps things tight all right this giant set we got three sets of 20 on each thing we're gonna start off with a leg press lying hamstring curl leg extension dumbbell walking lunge 10 each side for a total of 20 standing calf raise and seated calf raise if I do dumbbell seated I might be able to do that we'll see if we can't make that happen in here and then rest two minutes so that giant set rest two minutes and then we got two more rounds of it it's gonna be a doozy because there's no time in between it's just 30 seconds well 30 seconds or less in between which after doing 20 reps on leg press 30 seconds to get on to the next thing isn't a whole lot biggest thing here we're pushing through our heels you could go a little bit lower than I did. I'm being very protective of that knee, but pushing through the heels, getting a good squeeze. I'm going straight from here to lying leg curl. Thirty seconds and then walking lunge. That's round one. If we had a seated, a seated calf raise, we'd be doing that as well. It's a lot of reps in one, one giant set. So we got two more rounds of that. I'm gonna try to keep that intensity up high. Two minutes rest time, get some water. high volume leg day right there. I haven't done that much volume in a leg workout in a while. That's what I love about what we're doing with these programming. It's gonna be changing. We're gonna be getting stronger, bigger on the swole program. That's it for, for testing week. And inevitably there's gonna be workouts you don't like. There's probably body parts you don't like training. To those of you that like skipping things, you gotta fall in love somehow, some way. You have to fall in love with your weaknesses and make them your strengths. The way you do that is you obsess about them. You study them, you write about them, you make notes on them, and ultimately, you turn those weaknesses into strengths. Because we can always come in, anyone can come into the gym when it's arm day. Anyone can come into the gym and, and do fun exercises. It's harder to do sets of 20 on squats. It's harder to do 30 seconds rest between things so fall in love with the process because it's not going to get any easier you're only going to get stronger it's not going to get any easier <sighs> that is it for our third episode of the swole program i gotta go for my 20 minutes of list and also get my mobility in today so my list today will be hiking with poster i'm gonna take her on her little puppy pack that you guys saw last episode <sighs> all right i hope you guys are having a good monday start your week off strong